Alright guys, today we're going to have a look at all the best grinding locations in Elder Scrolls for the Aldemary Dominion and that would just be the Wood Elves, the High Elves and the Khajiit people also would be in this Dominion. So what you need to do is you'll start off on that island first, but I'm sure you know there is a Boatmaster there. So you go to the Boatmaster and you just ask them for a ride back to Auradon and they'll take you to some little Kelgard city. Okay, we have reached zone one. It is by this boat, not far from the main town. So once you're here, you will see quite a few of these, these guys. And the best way to grind really is if you can get someone to team up with. It just makes it go so much quicker. So if I just gather a few of these, I don't actually have any of those right now, so this is kind of stupid. But basically, you will round them up, and you will a weed them all, and kill them. And you should stay here until you are level 8. As you can see, level 5, so level 8 will probably start outliving their usefulness next place we want to start getting to, once you've grinded there, is zone 2 and that will be on the same map here at Quandelan Ruins. I'm just going to teleport there. In this zone you'll actually just stay there until level 10. To get there you will have to go through this tunnel. So we'll just go through here. We we'll see a lot of people in here as well. But don't worry, there are quite a few mobs, so you probably won't have to spend very long here to reach level 10. And it's just basically a garden filled with mobs that you can kill, so there's some guys there. You can stay here a bit past level 10 if you want, because these are level 12 mobs, so it's, it's however you feel most comfortable. So like, if you go to the next place and it's filled with people grinding and it's just not going well, progress is slow, just come back to one of the previous spots if you're still within the level range and finish up. That's what I've had to do quite a few times and just because the grinding locations were way too popular, <laughs> unfortunately. So yeah, there's a group there you could pull up. And there's somebody there, there's some more guys there. And then the beach's got f quite a few people, but you won't stay here very long, it's not ideal, but it's just an in-between place to get you to the next area to reach level 20. The next area, we're here now, is going to be up here where this boat is, and that's going to be called North Beacon. There's loads and loads of mobs there, so I just need to get there first and show you how to do it. Okay, so we're now approaching this place called North Beacon, and in here you might get yourself killed, but hopefully not. So you should be at least level 10 when you come here. So once you get through the gates, there's going to be loads and loads of mobs everywhere, in groups of three as well. So you can just run around, gather them up, hopefully you'll have someone else in your team that can heal you because it does get a bit crazy sometimes. The more annoying thing is that they're arranged. So just have a look out for that. But the quantity here is quite good. So like there's one, but there's also loads around that trebuchet there. And here should take you to level 20. And there's lots of chests around for your gear, so keep an eye out for that. The next place we're going to look at going, we're actually going to go to one of my favourite places. Alright, to get to Greenshade, where I was saying earlier, you need to come to this town here, 
which is called Skywatch. And you probably would have passed it on your way up to the other grind spot, so you've got to come back down. And just make sure you catch through all the teleport areas, just to make sure you can get back to where you need to be going. It's good to explore, the experience is really good. And also, these bosses here, wherever you see a skull, just go and try and kill him, if you can. Just because that will give you a bit of a, an experience boost, we found that it was quite good. So what you want to do is get to the boatmaster down here, who will be able to Hello take you there. to Greenshade. And we're just going to keep going down the docks. And obviously if you did the main story quest, it would probably take you. I have a deal with some privateers. They'll take us across the lane free of charge. What you want to do is first get to Grotwood so you can get yourself in to green shade. So here we go, we've ended up in Grotwood. This place is quite nice. And first thing you want to do is you want to ideally not do that. Get attacked by all sorts of things. So you get through the swamp first. And just run into the main town. You should be 20 at this point, at the latest. And these are all level 16, so they're obviously too low. And to get to green shades, sorry, you've got to basically run. Make sure you come up from the north of this town here, all the way through Elden Root, all the way up through here, and into here. So the first fork in the road go into here and should get you in to green shade around through the city and then we'll see you there in a second I'm just gonna teleport down right so the next grinding location which should take you up from level 20 to 31 if you do get bored you can move on at around level 28 and the zone you want to stay in is just about here so you find this weird circle thing and it should be around here with these ruins basically Okay, so this area is a bit sparse as you can see, but you will find a few groups of mobs that you can get on. They're mostly going to be cats, bears, troll type things. There's quite a few wasps on there actually, could try those out. Alright, so you ideally want to stay with 31, you probably get bored before then, but you can move on after 28. And the next place you want to get to is going to be Mala Tabor. Which is just north of green shade so if you just follow the road up you should get there and it's gonna be around this town called Bellin harbor so once you come through the gates down south here from green shade up into the city your main grinding location will be around here this bridge i've obviously done the quests here already so there are no mobs but this place is filled with enemies basically that you can just grind on you should be here until about 34, level 34. If you do the quest, the mobs will start going away and it'll turn into a town, so just be careful about that. Obviously you can see there's nothing around here for me. The next place we want to get to is Reaper's March, and that's actually directly connected to this map, so you can just walk all the way across. In this trading post, you can get through there. So once you have got into Reaper's March, you should head up to this castle here called Fort Grimwatch. Go oh, inside these massive doors here. Hello. Right. So once you're in here, there will be loads of mobs. It's going to be like a war type thing going on. So all you have to do is just run around, round them up, and AOE grind as usual. You'll actually stay there till about level 40, and then you want to move on to here where I am on the map. Weird shaped, fluty thing. Almost looks like a fat leg with a little foot on the end. So this leg here will be your next grinding loop location, just under the river, lake thing. And this is what it looks like. Here you go, there's the lakey river thing behind me. And here there's quite a good amount of grouped mobs that you can gather around. And you want to stay here till about level 44, ideally. And the next area is going to be Cold Harbour. So you have two choices, I'm pretty sure. 
Um, the first choice is to reach level 45 and that'll get you an unlocked quest to Cold Harbor. The other choice is to actually do the story quest of this map. So if you do the whole story quest for this map, it'll eventually lead you to get to Cold Harbor, which is where we're going next for the last for the last grinding location. So I'm just gonna teleport there. And there's actually two spots you can use, so we'll have a look at those in a second. Once you get to Cold Harbor, you should arrive at the main city of Meridia. You can skip the intro if you want with that woman showing you around the city, just to get straight to the grinding locations. If you've already done the story, that's probably a good option for you because it does take quite a while, and if you exit during the walkthrough, it'll just restart, so it's quite annoying. Um, the first area we're going to look at is, they're both to the right of the city, and the first area is going to be where this lava is, so let me show you where to go for that. Right, and when you get here, you'll be tempted to go into there, or there's another exit entrance thing on the other side. But what you want to do is actually go through the middle here, along this little skinny path of dirt in the lava. And you'll find a door here to get into, and it's called the Black Forge. And once in here, there's actually loads of mobs. Some of them are ranged, which is sometimes problematic, but for the most part this place has really good experience, really quick to level, would recommend it, but a lot of the times this place is quite busy with other players as well. So if it's just not working out for you and you come down here, it's going to be the first big room that you're going to focus on, just be careful not to fall down the pits. So if you come in here and you have a look, you can see all these mobs here, the respawn time is pretty mental. So you'll have, you'll just be respawning them off pretty quickly without any issues. So if you just get you and your friends go around here gathering all these mobs and AoEing them, you'll have a really good time. You just go around this big hole all the way around, if you can see here. So just circle your way around and you should be able to grind this area for all the way to 50 basically. But if you do find there's too many people, we do have another place we can go to, and I'll just show you that now. On the map, it's in here. It's the Cliffs of Failure. It's actually this big portal looking doodah, which I'll show you in a second. Uh, let's just get there first. Right, so when you're up here, you should see this big portal thing with spikes on, and that's the next location. Let's just go into here. And what you want to do is just run straight into the next portal, which will get you to the zone that you want to be in. And again, we just want to run through here, through the door, to the Cliffs of Failure, finally, get there. And here is actually a really good area to grind in just this initial courtyard, so there'll be fighting mobs that won't really bother you too much. Uh, what you want to do is just go around gathering them all. Sometimes there are lots of people here as well. So you could try your luck up one of those cliffs. You'll see there's three main paths going out from the main courtyard. And each place will have its own mobs that you can kill. And I'm pretty sure the Heritance people were a bit decent. I'm going to say they were decent. They had a good um, amount of stuff. There were some ranged people that were annoying, but you can generally just run around circles. Respawn time is really good, and it's just another option for you to get to level 50. And I actually had a look, the quest to get to Cold Harbor. So you've got to complete the Council of the Five Companions, and then you have to go to one of the main cities. So it should be a starting quest in Skywatch, Morn, Hold, or Wayrest, and this quest available for you to get to Cold Harbor and that's when you reach 45. The other option is to complete the whole story quest in Malatabor. The Malatabor story quest is called the Dark Main, so once you complete that whole map, it'll just take you straight to where you need to go next, as a story would normally do, and you can get into Cold Harbor that way. Obviously, these are two, two grinding locations to finalize your level 50. Hopefully, you'll have a good time grinding, and give me a thumbs up if this video is helpful to you.